Oh, sorry. That's three times I've made that joke in an LP. It's time Jesus. To wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. Gosh, you too? My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. Well, screw you two. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Hmm. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You're very encouraging. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Yeah, that would suck. The very first day. Ah, oh, what's up, pilots? Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. Damn! He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! This doesn't get any easier for this kid. Ah, oh, welcome to episode two. I have to cut in somewhere throughout the night. Having a good old time. So welcome to the Guild of Heroes. We haven't really been introduced to much of it yet, but here's the big hall where everyone gets drunk. Like real heroes do. And here we have the map room, which has the map in the middle of the room. That makes sense. That's where we'll be getting quests later in the game. And here we have a little shop where you can buy shit. We only have two pieces of gold. This is the guild shop. When you're yes, I know. M m m whisper, I'm, I got it handled. You don't have to give the tour. I'm doing the tour thing. Yep. And here you have some the useful apprentices out here. I did it in 50 seconds. No one has beaten that. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for my injured leg, I'd beat that time. Mm. We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. Okay. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that. It's the demon door? I don't even know what that is. Sorry. Well, at least you're not stupid. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. You're the most arrogant, that's for sure. <laughs> most arrogant. Oh, wow. This game has pretty good writing and there's a lot of detail in it if you watch. It was heralded by the creator of its uh, studio that made it as the best game ever, pretty much, is what he said. I forget the exact dialogue. Anyway, if you run around here, there's some cooking apples. I think you can get somebody to make a pie for you at some point. I don't know. This is, a, this is an optional objective. Really, you just need to go talk to the guild master like we're supposed to be doing. He's right over here next to this little, little fighting arena, that it looks like. You've finally prized yourself from your pillow, I see. Oh, now I'm lazy too, huh? Jesus. All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. All right. Now then. I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Okay. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Here goes nothing. And roundhouse kick. No, he wouldn't roundhouse kick. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Are they gonna give me a stick? Oh shit, a stick? Are you kidding me? Don't I get to use a sword or something? Anyway, gotta get the stick out with a buffed bumper or a white button. And then you beat it up with a stick. Ah, now that's more like. Wait, I destroyed a dummy with a stick? When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. Hmm. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. Oh. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Your head's very shiny, Guildmaster. Now pick it up. We don't actually pick it up. You just hit the, R, the right trigger, and it, like, sucks into you. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... Ding, 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 ding. That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. <laughs> the guild alarm. This is a good opportunity to test your <laughs> spirit. Oh, I'll man. wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Ooh. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Seriously, you got some glare going on, man. You need to debuff that head. Kill the beetles infesting the guild woods. Oh, I get some gold for it, apparently. Nice. Give me some pocket money. That's uh, very kind of them. I can go into the tavern and get wasted and forget my sorrows of my newfound orphaned... orphanhood? Orphaniness? Orphanicity? Or parentlessness? What's the adjective that describes the nature, or rather the condition of having no parents? Being an orphan. Who knows? Take my sword out. Or rather, my stick. The stick. The large. Anyway, you run out here, and the frame rate drops, and you beat the shit out of some beetles. 
don't know why the frame rate's going down. That's not something that happens very often on an Xbox game. I'm actually playing this on a 360, if you didn't get that from the, the white background screen of the first video in the loading area. But uh, when, you, when you do an original Xbox game on a 360 console, it's a little bit weird sometimes. Yeah, so you got 20 gold. Oh, and 10 extra renown. Renown's kind of cool. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. And then we get the very first instance in the game of the Guildmaster's disembodied voice giving us advice. It never stops. <laughs> like, seriously. It's just, ugh. Throughout the whole game, his voice. Just his disembodied voice. He's like Professor Oak. Where you just, you try to pull out your bike indoors, and it's just like, Professor Oak says you shouldn't do that. Like, what? How does he, is he watching me? This is really weird. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Was it really necessary to sound the yeah. alarm? I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. Oi! If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. I'm sure the amount of gold oh, you give you me is insignificant. Uh, yeah, I think I can go give those cooking apples to somebody and they'll make me a pie, but it's totally a waste of time. You get like... The, 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 everything that you do at this point is completely insignificant. This is sort of a tutorial training area. So I'm gonna hey, uh, hit yes and begin our apprentice training. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. Yeah. The days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Well, that's good, at least he's learning something. Hey, from the Finally, he Airhead. He was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. Oh. The real training was about to begin. Someone's vacuuming outside my door. Every time I LP, someone wants to vacuum. Is that the hallway? Get out of bed, lazy bones. Hey, Whisper. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. Oh, really? But that was an hour ago. Shit, I got taller. We better get going. Race you there. Was I locked away with the in the Temple of Time for seven years? What the heck happened? All of a sudden, I'm old. Yep, they're gonna vacuum right up my door. This is exciting. Hang on a second, guys. Alrighty then. I believe the vacuums have moved off for now. Anyway, in here is the room where all the other apprentices sleep. For some reason, Maple, M Whisper and I, Maple and I, no, Whisper and I get our own space. And this is just another way to go out here to the backyard of the, the guild. This area is not too exciting. Where, where are you running off to? Crazy people. Hello. New expressions. Hello. Hello. I'm a hero. Hey. 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 Hang on. Wait. Listen. No, I have. To wait. Like. Hey. Hey. Ooh. Oh, that was beautiful. All right. Should unmute the game. I was wondering, like, why can't I hear anything? There we go. Uh Late again. You do seem to have a problem getting up, lad. Uh, well, you know what? Hey. Oh yeah, whip that up. Commence, then. Enjoy that. I made this for you. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Oh Get joy! Get to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> sure. I thought the apprentices kill each other. Come on then, let's see what you've got, farm boy. How would you even know if I lived on a fr like? Did I talk about my orphanness a lot? I guess so. Hoorah! 38 damage. Suck on that one, Whisper! Oh, lucky shot. See these flourishes on the B button occasionally. I guess that's sort of a tutorialized later, but whenever that X appears, you hit the X button to attack, typically. And whenever the, uh, you start to see that glowing X in the lower right corner, you can hit the B button to do a more powerful move. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. Really? The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. All right. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. <laughs> oh, you gosh, you just demean everybody. Is that your strategy? Yeah, hit the Y button right away, or she'll pop up and give you one before it even starts. I don't really usually, you don't usually block much, it doesn't seem very helpful. It's not my strategy, not the way I play. 
Because some powerful moves, like the Flourish that I was wielding earlier, can't be blocked. So, you get an enemy who can use those kind of moves, you're really just shit out of luck. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Hmm. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress. Whisper and Thunder? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some fan boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Right. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha. <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. Melee. All melee. Right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. Learnt? This will be a no holds barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Prepare yourself. Now here you have to get the Y button up right away or she'll snack you a good one. Watch out. I think we just keep tapping the X button. And then, um... Oh, you little prick. Get over here. Ow! You... Hey! Little friggin... Get my flourish! That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. More British spellings. Oof. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Mm-hmm. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. Foreshadowing! I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. Oh, please, I was kicking your ass. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Oops. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Yep. Oh, and about your melee performance. Mm hmm Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam, and you'll do well. Thank you. That wasn't even a perfect score, I just... Do you want to continue? No, you want to continue, not repeat. meet me by the archery range to continue your training. You don't actually have to go to the archery range. You can just immediately run up to him and talk to him, and it'll teleport you to the archery range. It's kind of hilarious. Let's continue our training with the bow. Continue? Did I have a bow as a kid? No, you're just giving it to me, so I didn't have it as a kid. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. Oh, you're truly challenging me now, aren't you? It. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. Oh goodness! But make sure you stay within the circle. I can, I can handle it. Thanks, buddy. Good old guildmaster. So you can do the, yeah, just sort of. Lock onto one of the Boom! Pull and hold the left trigger. Just charge it up with the X button, lock on with that left trigger, and let her, let her rip. That's all there's to it. Well done. You hit all the targets. Yep. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. Some do. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. Well, shouldn't I shoot them and then they stop moving? You have moving? a minute to score as many points as you can. All right. One target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three. And the one at the back will score you nine points. Hmm. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points. But you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. That's the whole game right there. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> if you're playing as a character that uses a bow, that's sort of the whole game for you, is balancing firing rate, power, whoops, and accuracy. Now here, I gotta get my uh, timing right, because the way you score the most points is to just shoot that back target over and over, and only hit the other ones when they happen to get in your way. See, so you can score like, like, like 30 points per hit on it if you have a fully charged shot. 88 to 124. Yeah, it's a pretty good blow. Good yeah, shooting. that one in the middle got in the way. You can go a little bit crazy like this if you want. Just sort of do all these really powerful shots on the one in the back. I think the max score is pretty high. Good it's like shooting. 400 points or something like that. Probably a little higher than that, honestly. I, I probably could get 400 if I really tried. I even missed a few shots and I'm already over 200. Yeah, there was another one. Air ball. Nicely done. But yeah, you definitely want to go for the one in the back, hit as much as you can. Well, looking at this score distribution, you probably could get even more than, uh, 400. Because I just got 300, like, 50-something, or 325, so, yeah. Excellent shooting, my lad. Do that in your skill test, and I'll be most impressed. Alright. I like my arrows just then. Continue. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. The will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. Ah, oh, right, by the demon door. We know where that is now since we're older. 
presumably you've seen it at least once. But again, just talk to him and you teleport over there. It's great. It's I don't even have to walk and I can become a hero. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. Sorry, I can't hear you over the waterfalls. All right, let's see what you've got. Ah, uh, yes, you hold on the right trigger and go kabow! Mm. And lightning shoots out of your hands. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. All right. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. Yeah, it's pretty. Won't get any points for hitting one in the back. We'll only waste valuable mana. Exactly. Using your willpower depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. That makes sense. All right. So you hold the left trigger and the right trigger to lock on and get your magic out, and then you just uh, keep hitting the uh, X button to get yourself some more targets, pretty much. It's not at all challenging. You kind of get this pattern going where you just doom, 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 and just take them out. There's not a whole lot to it, to be honest. It's really easy. I'm already out of mana. I'm out of mana! I'm gonna punch it. BAM! <laughs> Run out of mana, I gotta start punching them. <laughs> Excellent use of magic. Well done. And a little brawling to boot. Continue. Very good, lad. You have learned the three hero disciplines. Strength, skill, we can and now will. To your final test, if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I am ready for I my final the test. Is about to go into the guild woods. If you wish to join her. Eh, balls to that. <laughs> Play with Whisper. Again, it's inconsequential, I think. Yeah. Screw Whisper. We'll continue into adulthood. I hope you're ready. Truly mastering a hero's skills takes years of practice. Right. Sure it does. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. Do I get that cool plate he armor? Would become a hero. Ooh, and a badass haircut too. <laughs> it's like an inverse mohawk. Reverse you mullet. Graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Is it involved killing bugs? Enter the guild woods. And go to the log at the top of the oh hill. Oh God! More bugs. The test will be revealed to you there. Maybe it's a snake. Good luck. Ooh, dangerous woodland creatures. All right, let's go do our final combat test so we can become a hero officially. How exciting! Uh, wouldn't it be funny if you got up here in the final test with something like the. The game show at the end of Banjo Kazooie. I was like, "Well, it's the name of the servant who wanted you to bring her cooking apples." I'm like, what? <laughs> What's Whisper's old brother's name? I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test. Then. Mm hmm. It's simple. You must defeat me using all you've learned in your years of training. Somehow, I don't think that's possible. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Okay, I'm gonna cut you in half. Before long, they'll be saying, They're all dead to someone else. Attack me! And flourish! Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Yep, and at this point, it's just a matter of just shoot him a few times. Where'd he go? You don't have to put much power into any of the shots, just like half of a, of a draw is plenty. You're getting closer to me. Getting at this. How about one good one? Oh. Excellent! And finally, cast lightning at me. Cool. Bam! One, two. That's all it takes. That's enough. Yes. Quite impressive for a novice. For a novice. You will find real battles. Rather more fatal than this. Yeah, my enemies tend to fight but back. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. Score. Do I get to teleport now? That would be pretty wicked. 
Oh, jeez, you could have taken me with you, man. He's gonna make me walk back. Fine. I'll walk. Alright. We'll wait. Meow. Back to the Heroes Guild. The loading streams in this game are sort of... frequent, but tend to be short. It's only occasionally. Ugh, yawn. Now everyone yawns. That they get kind of long. It's not often. Well, this is the day, lad. It is. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Yeah, you were a dick to me then. Maze's faith in you was well placed. That's one way to say it. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Ooh, neat. Oh gosh, this next line is one of the ones that's burned in my head. Just from how many times I started this damn Let game. Let the apprentices approach. Let the apprentices approach. It's just a weird For line. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Thanks. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Hunter in the background, he's doing the Africa face. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. <laughs> The shadows of Albion are stirring, and strange winds are blowing. Hunter is way too happy back there. Or er, Hunter, what? Thunder. Whether they lead you down the path of good or evil will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. Oh man, all my nameless friends are clapping for me. Nameless, faceless friends. Oh, what's funny is when you're an adult, uh, or when you're doing the apprentice training, if you go back and talk to those two guys who are arguing about who's fastest, they're still arguing about it like ten years later. It's hilarious. It's time for you to leave us that. But you're still very much part of the guild. Yep. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. Oh. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Okay. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light, and I'll show you how to do this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is how you level up, essentially. It's how you, you don't really level, you just increase your abilities and skills and things. First, you must select the area you want <coughs> to advance in. Strength, skill, or will. Yes, yeah, so you've got... Notice your experience pools in the lower left portion of the screen. Yes, the screen. You You're breaking the fourth wall, dude. By collecting experience orbs, and you ought to. Alright, we're not gonna listen to him. We're just gonna go in here and give ourselves some more health. <laughs> and will experience. Ah, okay, so you got all kinds of cool will. stuff. Just ah, strength, skill, you've will. Chosen, ah, there you go. You've chosen strength. You gonna shut up now? You could be a great warrior. Yeah, but basically you get strength, which is going to make you. Uh, we'll look. Well, I'll show you here. Physique is going to make you do more damage with melee weapons, and it's going to make you able to wield heavier melee weapons. Health will, of course, increase your max health. Toughness will make you more resistant to damage. Natural armor, which can help make up for uh, not having very good armor. You also have speed, which is your agility in combat, and it uh, makes you more dexterous with a melee weapon, allowing you to swing, I think, more quickly. And it also increases, increases your rate of fire for uh, weapons like a bow or a crossbow, which is very important because it really allows you to do a lot more damage. Accuracy is going to be your precision, and it's, it's, it's just a direct increase to the damage you can do with a bow. I believe eventually it also allows you to scope in like you're seeing here in the little animation. Guile is interesting. This is sort of the, the one thief skill in the game. It's the only one. It makes you cunning, and it's sort of a combination of lockpicking, sneak, and speech, if you were to think of it in skills from Skyrim's skill set, the Elder Scrolls model. Uh, so, like I say, it gives you better better prices with traders, and you become stealthy, so you can sneak up on things, and you can also uh, steal things and break into houses once you get to higher levels. That's interesting. And then you've got will. Of course, you can just give yourself more mana. That's one way to spend it. And there's now all kinds the of uh, will spells. Know. These are pretty ridiculous, actually. Some of them... There's a lot of will spells. This is one of the places where you sort of... There's lots of different kinds of mages. Force push is nice. Because it sort of um, knocks people away from you. Turncoat will make someone change to your side. Slow time does exactly what it sounds like it would do. Drain life, very much the same. Summon, 
Yeah, it brings in somebody to help you fight. Uh, and it just, higher levels, I think you get better better people. Oh, but you actually, I think when you summon, you can, uh... Yeah, if this creature kills another, it is replaced by the soul of its newly fallen victim. So that means you start out with a wasp summon, and if that wasp kills, like, a bandit, now you get to summon the soul of a bandit instead. So it's even better. That, that skill can be pretty cool, actually. And then you've got stuff like physical shields, keep you safe from damage for a short amount of time, berserk, which makes you... It's sort of like... It's weird. It makes you like a really powerful melee character, which is not like something you think that would be a mage skill. But it is one way to spend those extra will points you'll get along throughout the game. And you got Assassin Rush, which is just makes you zip forward really quickly. You can heal yourself. Now this is handy, actually. And you got Ghost Swords, which are just little swords to help you fight. Not very useful. Uh, multi Arrow. Now this is cool. This will really up your damage for uh, ranged characters. Each time you upgrade this, you get an extra ghostly arrow that accompanies each shot of your arrows once you have cast the spell. And so by the end, you're firing like six arrows at once. It's pretty great. To start with, I'm just going to give myself health some more health, because that's really the best thing to do at this early point in the game. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And Thanks. your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. Oh shit. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. Oh. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. <laughs> a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Excitement. Woohoo! Quest completed. Dee 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 dee. You get two resurrection vials, which are extra lives, a lamp, which is neat. Health potions, a will potion, apple pie, and a little bit of renown, which is just how famous you are, pretty much. Alright. That is, uh, it for tutorials, pretty much. S sort of. The very first quest is really, really easy. It, it's. Check the guild for more quests. Check the guild for more. At the disembodied voice, he's right across the room, and he's doing the disembodied voice thing. Oh, man. The guildmaster. Ugh. Yeah, so the first quest is pretty easy, but I think we're going to get to that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying Let's Play Fable so far, and I will see you next time.